In this video, we will learn about AWS S3. What is S3 and how to use it and manage it. This is part 4 of DevOps Masterclass YouTube series. If you have not watched my previous video, uh, you can click on the top uh, right corner. You will see that eye icon. You can check out my previous videos. If you want to learn DevOps, I recommend you to watch this video series from start to end. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Vivek from Tech with VP, your problem, our solution. So let's talk about Amazon S3. Amazon S3 stands for Simple Storage Service, 3S. Amazon S3 is an object storage service that stores data as an objects within buckets. An object is a file and any metadata that describes the file. Amazon S3 is a service that offers industry leading scalability, data availability, security and performance. You can use Amazon S3 to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere. Amazon S3 is one of free service provided with free tire account, which is free for 12 months. AWS free tire account will give you 5 GB of S3 storage in standard storage class. So now you will ask me, what are the standard storage classes? So AWS provide a couple of classes options uh, for your S3 buckets. So and next is, it also provides uh, 2000 put requests, 20,000 get requests and 50 GB of data transfer out of your bucket each month free for one year. So uh, it, it will be renewed every month. After that, AWS S3 will charge you based on storage, requests, data retrievals, data transfer and data management. Now we will create our first bucket with the help of Amazon S3. To use Amazon S3, log in to your AWS account and follow me to create our first bucket. So I have already logged into my AWS account and now I will show you how you can create your first S3 bucket. So first you have to go to this search and type S3. You will see this uh, little bucket here and uh, S3 scalable storage in the cloud. Uh, select this. Now it will redirect you to this page and here you will see the list of previously created buckets. I have already created one bucket but for this video we are going to create one bucket from the scratch. So first step is to uh, click on this uh, create button, create bucket button. Now you have to uh, provide some information related to your bucket and you have to select some settings. So now our second step is to uh, give a bucket name. So bucket name must be globally unique and must not contain spaces or upper letters. So this is uh, some rules to be taken care. So first I will I will show you the wrong one wrong name. Okay. So this uh, bucket name should be uh, globally unique. So let me uh, give this demo. So demo and I'm directly clicking on this create bucket. So you can see bucket with the same name is already exist. So please make sure if you are creating your bucket, you have to provide unique name. So for the uniqueness, I'm going to create demo tech with VP one, two, three. So this will be my bucket name. Now next step is AWS reason. You can choose any reason you want, but uh, as per your requirement, but I will go with the default one. Now the next step is copy settings from your existing bucket. So this is basically a very good option uh, provided by AWS. So uh, if you have already created one bucket and you have done some uh, configurations over there and you want that configuration in newly new created bucket. So you can just directly select that bucket and all the settings uh, from that bucket will directly comes to this new bucket. So you can use this option if you want but I'm not going to use this right now. I will go with uh, manual mode. You can see manual, uh, you can see uh, we are following uh, steps one by one. So next is uh, object ownership. Now what is object ownership? So S3 object ownership uh, is uh, S3 bucket level settings that you can use to disable access control list means ACL uh, and uh, take ownership of every object in your bucket. In simple way, access management for data stored in AWS S3. Okay, so this is like uh, access management. So for this video, we are not going to enable ACLs. We will go with the recommended uh, solution 
or recommended way which is ACL ACLs disabled. Next, uh, uh, this option will be uh, depends on if you are enabling uh, ACLs or not. So for this video, we'll select this. Now, next is the block public access setting for this bucket. It is like an additional layer of protection to prevent S3 bucket from being made publicly accessible. By default, all content in S3 is private. You can then make content accessible in several different ways like uh, bucket level. Uh, at the bucket level, you can change these settings by creating bucket policies uh, on the desired bucket. You can manage these settings. Now, uh, for this video, we will uh, continue with block all accesses. So we, are, we don't want uh, this uh, bucket to be public for now. Next is the bucket versioning. So versioning in S3 uh, means uh, keeping multiple versions of an object in the same bucket. You can use the S3 versioning feature to preserve, retrieve and restore every version of every object stored in your bucket. Right now we don't want it. So we'll go with the default one, disable. Next is the tab tags which is optional you can provide it if you want uh, next step is default encryption it is like automatically encrypt new objects stored in this bucket but for this video we are not going to enable this encryption also uh, we don't want server side encryption so we will disable it so aws also provides some additional settings so we which is uh, the one setting only here which is object lock so it is like store object using write once read many model to help you prevent objects from being deleted or overwritten uh, which you can read here. So but we are not going to enable it we will go with the disabled one and now you can click on this create bucket button. So after some time uh, not, the, not more time it is like uh, 5 to 10 seconds. You will see this success message that your bucket has been created successfully. Your bucket name is demo tech with VP123. And you will see that newly created bucket here also. And you will see the bucket and object are not private. This shows the access. Uh, my previously created bucket was public, but we have not created this bucket pu uh, publicly available right now. You can see your bucket in bucket list and you can start uploading and managing your files. So now I will click on this newly created bucket. I'm going to open it in uh, next window. Uh, so now you can see a couple of options available here. Some are like objects, properties, permissions, metrics and access point and all things. We are not going to deep in this, but I will show you a, a quick demo. So how you can upload and download files in your S3 bucket. Uh, one more thing I, I would like to uh, tell you that you can create folders here also. So I'm going to create one folder like demo. So you can uh, manage your files and organize, organize that files uh, within folders also in your bucket. So now we'll upload a file in this folder. Uh, let's not upload it in folder. We will uh, first upload it directly in the uh, like our bucket. So for to upload file, you have to click on this upload button. So once you click on it, uh, it will give you options. Uh, so first we will add one file. So you can see I have selected this screenshot one PNG and uh, after that you have to click on this upload button. After some time, we will see that upload succeeded and your file is uploaded and you can see your file here. So I will click on this file and you will see the information related to your uh, file like reason, last modified, what is the size of that file, extension and all things. And one important thing is object URL. So this is the URL with the help of uh, you can uh, use this file. So now I will click on this and you can see access denied. Why? Why access denied? So that's why I have, op I have opened this in a second window so I can show you bucket and objects not public. Why? Because this bucket is not publicly available. That's why you are getting this error basically. So I will show you how you can fix this issue and how you can make this uh, bucket publicly available. And uh, now you will ask, ask me uh, how we can uh, like uh, these files object are not accessible how we will access it. So uh, uh, in the bucket, you can download this. 
like if you are selecting this uh, you will get this download option so by clicking on this download you can select and you can download these files you can see this file has been downloaded so this is how you can uh, manage files uh, and uh, upload files in your bucket but this all files will not be available publicly so now i will show you how you can delete this uh, it is very very easy you can select any file and click on this delete button and you will see you have to type something like permanently delete and once you click on it permanently delete yeah i have given space delete object in your bucket will be uh, that image will be deleted or whatever file you have which will be deleted so this is how you can create bucket and manage files roles uh, policies and all but this is just beginner level tutorial s3 itself is a very huge topic which we can't cover in just one video if you request uh, we will create definitely uh, create a whole s3 series uh, as well if you wish i hope you enjoy this video tutorial and content it is re really appreciated if you like this video share with your friends and if you are new to this channel you can subscribe to our channel for more uh, content like this uh, and uh, feel free to ask in the comment section if you have any doubt or any query so see you in the next video uh, we will make this bucket publicly available in the next video after that we will move to our ec2 instance so see you in the next video thank you